Hi, I'm Walter from NZEFI and I'm here today at Link Engine Management to discuss some of the pitfalls that commonly occur when setting up the trigger offset on a Link Engine Management system. The trigger offset is one of the most critical parameters to get right when doing a new installation of a Link G4 engine management system. In most cases this involves using a timing light to verify that the ignition timing as seen on the crank is actually what the ECU believes it's delivering and if it's not then calibrating the trigger offset to get this just right. In most cases this process is quite straightforward but there are a few pitfalls that people do run into and I'm going to demonstrate one of these right now on our development engine dyno. In this case we've told the ECU that we want the timing to be firing at 10 degrees then we've adjusted the trigger offset while cranking the engine and watching the timing light. Once we adjusted the trigger offset to negative 360 degrees, we were actually seeing the timing light flashing at 10 degrees before top dead center. The timing as seen on the timing light is correct, but the engine simply won't start. The problem is actually the trigger offset. It's 360 degrees away from what it should be. This means that the ignition timing, instead of firing at the end of the compression stroke, it's actually firing at the end of the exhaust stroke. There's no way of telling this simply by looking at the crank with the timing light. In this particular case, the correct trigger offset was actually zero, not negative 360. However, this will be different for every application. has one ignition coil per cylinder, which is why it wouldn't start when the trigger offset was incorrect. If it had a wasted spark ignition system or a distributor ignition system, then it actually would have started with the incorrect trigger offset, but the sequential injection timing would have been incorrect. If you have an engine with one ignition coil per cylinder and it, everything looks right but it just won't start, don't forget that the trigger offset might be the problem.